Another top story tonight, Republican Mark Harris breaking his silence today, just a day after the man he beat, Democrat Dan McCready, withdrew his concession. Harris speaking out, saying he was, quote, absolutely unaware of any wrongdoing. This comes as the state continues to investigate allegations of potential absentee ballot voter fraud in the 9th District, specifically in Bladen and Robinson counties. The defenders Nathan Morbido has been digging into the story all day. Nathan, you've discovered this is not a criminal. This is now a criminal investigation. Fred, that's right. The State Bureau of Investigation confirms prosecutors asked the agency to help with this investigation. This comes as Mark Harris posted a video late this afternoon saying he's cooperating fully with the state election board's investigation. Also, as new federal filings show, his campaign owes a firm $34,000 for helping with absentee ballots in Bladen County. And although I was absolutely unaware of any wrongdoing, that will not prevent me from cooperating with this investigation. Mark Harris's first on-camera comments came in a short Twitter video in which he said he hopes the investigation will end with the election board certifying him as the winner before the next Congress meets. I trust that this investigation will be full and complete, examining any alleged irregularities that could have benefited either party in this election or past election cycles. His words come less than a day after he filed this paperwork with the Federal Election Commission, an obligation that his campaign owes political consulting firm Red Dome Group $34,000 to cover costs associated with, among other things, absentee ballots in Bladen County and door-to-door -door work. Red Dome Group is the same firm previously subpoenaed by the State Election Board and the firm that reportedly hired the man at the center of the absentee ballot scandal. Leslie McRae Dallas, a man the Election Board considers a person of interest. State records suggest he played a role in requesting and collecting absentee ballots in Bladen County. Catawba College political scientist Dr. Michael Bitzer says it's becoming more and more clear this election is tainted. I feel like the momentum is pushing towards a new election. NC Republican Party Robin Hayes says the GOP supports the state's investigation, but based on what we know at this point, he believes a new election is not warranted. If wrongdoing and crimes have been committed, then those persons should be found out and properly prosecuted under the law. That having been said, we think Mark Harris has won the election. His opponent, Democrat Dan McCready, initially agreed, but yesterday, a month after his concession speech, took it back. And should this be a tainted election, then we absolutely should have a new election. In Harris's video, he explained the only circumstance he'd support a new election. If this investigation finds proof of illegal activity on either side to such a level that it could have changed the outcome of the election, then I would wholeheartedly support a new election to ensure all voters have confidence in the results. Now, the state election board has yet to set a date for a hearing in this case to hear the evidence, but today confirmed it has issued a subpoena to the Mark Harris for Congress committee. The state hearing has to take place within the next two weeks. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Nathan, thank you.